I'm just delighted that you're here today to uh, share with us this inaugural conference and to, I hope, be at the start of something that's really big, something absolutely special. For young the Curriculum Foundation is an organisation committed to helping to make learning better for young people. It brings together people from all sorts of perspectives to share their views and, and build practice that will make a difference to learning in the 21st century. Uh, what we want are your views, we want your opinions, we want your voice, your suggestions, your support. And what we're interested in is a genuine conference where you confer. We're totally independent, we're a social enterprise charity, we're a not-for-profit organisation. Many, many people are giving freely of their time, energy and commitment in order to make it work. We think we've given ourselves the right to education and we had the 1944 Education Act. Hooray, thank goodness. It's an opportunity for the central issue of what do children learn and why do they learn it to be taken back into the hands of people who have given their life to thinking about their relationship to children and learning, and, and not just children. It's been so driven by politics and by media sound bites, and I'm terribly concerned that the professionals should get it back for their own usage and for their own idealism to spring forward again. So it's, it's really about idealism and allowing that to be back on the agenda. In my experience of change in organisations, you bring it off by getting people who work in those organisations to talk you know, with each other. I think we all talk the same language in education, we're just not that good at talking to each other. And part of the foundation's role is, is to bring those groups together and spark off that creativity and ingenuity. I never go on like, conferences like this. I always get really excited and think, yeah, they're completely right. And almost, you know, what I was doing yesterday in school about data and everything is such a small part of it. There's this sort of contradiction in our country. We know that youngsters have got to grow up uh, to be adaptable, to be flexible, to be resilient, to be able to take the opportunities in front of them in an ever-changing world. And yet we still cling to an old model of learning, an old model of curriculum based in generations gone. And somehow we've got to get parties together to talk about how it needs to be in the future, how it can be different and how it can be most appropriate for young people. If you read Friedman's book, It's a Flat World, he talks about the need to create people who have flexibility, portability, ingenuity and creativity. And I think, I think the foundation is, is there to sit between those two those two stances of the way things have been and are and the way things should be. I decided that just as an inconvenient truth had been the catalyst for a wider and rather better informed debate around climate change, what was now needed was a similar debate focusing on the needs of education. I think um, prioritisation within a 21st century context, fresh thinking, um, Mick quite rightly alluded to the fact that whenever you get into a serious conversation about the curriculum you immediately have a, you, a lot of people go into a very protectionist crouch. They, they're more worried about having a, a rounded, more adventurous curriculum than losing the piece of ground that over the last 50 years they may have won for themselves. Uh, curriculum Foundation I think is, is an opportunity to have neutral territory in which to actually reassess a lot of these things. The foundation will draw to it self-selected, passionate people. Uh, who, who want to and are unafraid of experimenting with the curriculum. I don't mean using young people as guinea pigs, but actually want to experiment and be brave in classroom and out of classroom contexts and share their experience. And not just uh, nationally, I think this is a global issue. And I think that the opportunity to say, well, we are a group of people who have a voice and a view and we want to influence now instead of being told what to do. Hopes for the Curriculum Foundation to challenge, to discuss, and to debate the key issues of education in the 21st century. In recognising uh, the breadth of the curriculum and the values that actually underpin it, uh, along with the skills that children and young people need to develop in order for them to participate more fully than just the narrow curriculum that's driven by uh, exams 
uh, and testing. Yes, it's nice to hear different people talk, but it's about the collective voice, which is, I think is the most impressive thing, and hopefully it'll work, but as Mick said, it's, well, it's down to everybody to make it happen. It's greatly affirmed in the fact that what we're doing around making our curriculum much more focused on what the children want to learn, much more creative, uh, involving our parents and helping to shape the way things go uh, is the right journey to be on. A certain section of our um, student population are not achieving as well as they should do and part of that I think has been the almost handcuffs that the national curriculum is placed on on schools and therefore I'm taking away an inspiration I think to do things differently. Poised on the edge of something and a sense of um, anticipation at what's possible um, but still slightly unsure as to where it will travel. I think as Steiner said a lust for knowledge and an ache for understanding is incised in the best of men and women, as is the calling of the teacher. There is no craft more privileged to awaken in another human being powers and dreams beyond one's own, to induce in others a love for that which one loves, to make it of one's inward present their future. This is a threshold adventure like no other. And I think the Foundation's job is to breathe life into those, to those lovely words. Thanks for listening today. Thanks for coming today. And safe journey home. Cheers.